standing. Amen. Open your Bibles. Let's read our scripture. Hallelujah. Thank you. Revelation chapter 3. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 3. Glory. Verse 1 down to 6. And unto the angel of the church of Sardis write, These things said he that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest, and are dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments. And they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot his name out of the book of life, but I will confess him or his name before my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit say unto the church. Consider verse 2 again. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. This morning God told me to tell you strengthen what remains. Father, we thank you this morning for our service. We thank you for our gathering. We thank you for the Holy Ghost and your power being among us. We give you glory this morning. Speak out to our hearts this morning. Thank you for the glory that's in the house. Thank you for the glory that's a fall, about to fall in this place. God, we ask that you cover us and those that may be on their way. We bind the devil right now. I bind you, Satan. I bind every weight. I bind every burden that comes the way on the service. I command you, Satan, to loose your hope. Huh? Every dry spirit, I command you to loose her. Every weight, loose her. My God, in the name of Jesus, set a spirit of liberty in this house. Set a spirit of power in this house. Spirit of spirit, set a spirit of fire up in this house, God. Send rain in this place. Rain down your water where it's dry. Send your fire on things that need to be burnt. Oh, I give you glory right now. Oh, shine. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you. I give you glory, God. I give you praise. In the name of Jesus, you may be seated. Yes, Lord. Oh, I feel him in the house. I feel the Holy Ghost in this house. Fire powers in the house. Glory, thank you. Strengthen what remain. You may be seated. Amen. First of all, I give honor to my first lady, and my wife, and my assistant pastor, Wyndham. Amen. I give honor to uh, Minister Casey. Give honor to Minister Geisha. Give honor to our intercessors. Thank God for everybody. Come on, give God 
the biggest praise you gave him since you've been here and including since you've been saved. Amen. You may be seated as I talk to you for a few moments. Thank you, Jesus. Strengthen what? Remain. Strengthen what remain. Because what remain is about to be ready to die. So you strengthen what remain. And Jesus was talking to the church of Sardis. And hypocrisy and lamentable decay in religion are sins charged upon Sardis church by one who knew that church very well and all her works. Outward things appear well to men, but there was, on, there was only the form of godliness and not the power. They had a name to live, not a principle of life. There was, a, there was great deadness of souls. And in their services, numbers were complete hypocrisy. Others were in a disordered and lifeless state. So our Lord called upon them to be watchful against their enemies and to be active and earnest in their duties and to endeavor in the on the grace of the Holy Ghost to revive and strengthen the faith and spiritual affections of those yet alive to God, though in a declining state. In other words, he's saying, I need you to revive yourself back to God again because your spirit is in the process of decay. He was telling Sardis. He said, before you die out, before your spirit decay, he said, I need you to, re, to strengthen. Strengthen what's left. I need, you, I need you to, amen, get back down to business again. Amen. Before you die out spiritually, I need you to revive yourself again. Strengthen what's left. Because a lot of it's gone, he was telling Sardis. A lot of the strength you had is gone. A lot of the devotion that you had is gone. People around you, they looked at you as lively, but he, God said you dead. Folks looked at you as spiritual, but God said I look at you as dead. Folks look at you as on fire, but God look at you look as looking at them as, as cold. And so the, the Lord was telling the church of Sardis, he says, strengthen what remains. Because it's some stuff, that's, it's, a, it's some strength, it's some devotion, it's some consecration, it's some love that is about to die if you don't do something about it right now. So brothers and sisters, the shocking truth is that faithfulness, godliness, and love has almost been eliminated from the lives of these believers. And Jesus is warning Christians to wake up and to reverse the lamentable demise into which they have fallen before the church fails to survive. The true gospel of Christ, which was once the found, was the foundation upon the church, or which was the church was once built upon and should still be built upon, has been eroded. And John urges those that are left to strengthen what remained of the faith once delivered to the saints. So the church of Sardis is sick unto death, but yet there is still a little life left. And in his urgent appeal, John implores them to reignite the flickering flame of faith and nobody can tell you can have a seat for a moment please uh, no prophet have to tell you when your flame is going out no 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 prophet gotta tell you I always tell you um, re um, um, all the time 
I tell you all the time, uh, moving to the music does not right. define right. whether your fire is still lit. Uh, uh, shouting to the music does not define that you were stricted. Uh, maybe the music is just pulling out the little that's left in you. Maybe the music is sparking a little of the spark, pl uh, the few spark plugs that's still working in you. But God said today to tell you, strengthen what remains. You're not quite dead yet. Uh, but somebody's on their way out. And, and God is saying, get a hold now. Get a hold of some strength before you decay all the way out. I know I heard God tell me last night. You know, folks could be sitting in church like this and just sitting there drying up. And, and, and it's no uh, knock on the church while they're drying up. It's not a knock on the preacher. It's surely not a knock on the Holy Ghost. It, it's a knock on them. It, it's, it's a problem with them, not the church, not the Holy Ghost, not the preacher, but it's them. And so while folks looking at them as being prayer warriors, looking at you as being powerful, Looking at you as being somebody that God is using in these last days and you really believe in that. God said, but I'm looking at you totally different. I see your Facebook page. You're talking about God and folks hitting likes on your comments. Folks saying, man, that's a powerful man, a woman of God. But God said, yeah, they saying you're powerful. But God said, I see you weak. And if you don't hurry up and strengthen what remains, you're going to decay in the spirit. My squad up in here now. So I was just listening to the Spirit of God and the Holy Ghost said to me, there, there, there are, there, there's, a, there's a spirit of boredom on people that has been saved a long time. The enemy is convincing some people that they are at a dead end in church. They're getting tired of what they call the same old, same old. Yeah, they come into church. They're getting tired of experiencing the same thing at church. And the enemy is making them feel like it's just boring. I, the same old thing. But the Holy Ghost said to tell you, I hope you're not more in love with an event than you are with an experience. Because when you are in love with the event, you get used to the event. The event of 11 o'clock service. The event of 10 o'clock Sunday school. The event of Tuesday night Bible class. The event of Friday night service. A and so you're so used to the event until you're missing the experience that God wants you to experience when you come to church. And so you have people, let me tell you, I can feel you now. It's folks losing strength. I can feel you. I don't care how you holler. I don't care how they scream. I don't care how they shout his name three times and turn around in circles. If your strength is being drained, God said, it's because you have lost the, you have not been in touch or you have lost touch with the experience of the Holy Ghost. Because when you are in constant experience with the Holy Ghost, you won't revert back to the old habits and revert back to the old ways. You won't revert back to the old weakness because you're too busy enjoying the experience of growing. My God, I'm mercy and so they, they are so used to church until they are getting bored with church. Yes, they are accustomed to the church that they have been attending for years until they have lost the power they used to experience in the house of God. Yes, so they are so unmoved by what they used to be moved by. They are stuck in a state of mind that is causing them to think, here we go again. Every time they walk through the door, here we go again. Same old thing again. Same old, same old again. It's because your strength is leaving you. Because when you were strong, you didn't care about no microphone. You didn't care about being over no program. You didn't care about being the spot in the spotlight. Just get me to the house of God so I can keep the strength that I got on me. But what's happening now in the body of Christ, folks is coming to church week and they're leaving week. 
They're coming to church dry and they're leaving dry. They need something artificial. Lord, I, feel, I, I just feel like I'm up here. I, I don't feel too, many, too much strength. I, they, they need something. They need something artificial. Give me some music. Go strike up the music. Strike up the beat. Oh, but when you was on fire for God, it didn't matter if you played music or not. You just wanted to be in the house of God. You weren't driving down the street saying, man, I, Lord, I got to go to the same thing. They don't do nothing. They don't let me do nothing. I don't get to do this. I don't get to do And you're sitting there in a bored state. But I come to tell you, God told me to tell you. He said, you better strengthen what remaining. Because, that's, listen, if you don't strengthen it, you're going to die out spiritually. You're going to die out spiritually. Because when you're dying out, not die, d dying out spiritually, amen, you're going to begin to drift back to old stuff because you are trying to find satisfaction. If God is not satisfying you, you want something else. If God is not giving you the strength, you're looking for something else. And so what's happening is when folks is about to die out, they don't know how to praise them. They don't know how to give God glory. They don't know how to shake off the dust. They bring all this stuff with them to church. They bring all the weights, all the trials of life. They just sit on them in the house of God because they got no strength to rebound or to recover from. But I come to tell somebody here, you are on life support. My God and God say you're hanging in the balance spiritually. And it's, you better hurry up and do some about this now because you are about to decay in the spirit, said the Lord. Lord, thank you. Oh, I see you tithing. And wait a minute, by the way, everybody got a tithe. You can't depend on your wife to tithe and you don't tithe. You can't depend on your husband to tithe and you just feel, because he tithe, I don't have to give no tithe. Let me tell you something, you getting weak, baby, and you're about to die. You, we don't have no husband and wife religion. We don't have no pastor religion. You better have some strength to say, God, whatever I got to do to devote myself, I got. I can't get nobody else. Uh-huh, yes, Lord, you're dying out spiritually, and you're about to croak out, said the Lord. And God is saying today, get that out your mind. Here we go again, same old service, same old thing, same old bit, same old that, because Lord have mercy, you're drying out. And some people have been drying. You better watch your surroundings. You better watch who you're surrounded by. You got to watch who you share with because I'm, I can feel some people first lady. I can feel them. They, they can feel. They can feel that old stuff creeping back up on them. Sister Linda, they try their best to act like it's not. They can feel familiar spirits. They can feel that old school stuff. Lord, coming back on them. It's coming back to drain your strength. It's coming back to take your testimony. It's coming back to take everything you built in Christ. And so you got to get out that thing out your mind. When I come to church, I'm just coming. Listen, you come to the church to get a break too. You come to church to hear a word from the Lord. If you're not a preacher, that means you just got to sit down and listen. That's what it means. You two people can't talk at the same time. As everybody want to preach. Everybody want to say something. But if you ain't the preacher, that means you got to sit down and listen to what's being said. There's a word from the Lord, and you got to hear what God is saying. You got to hear God telling you, come out your backsliding ways. Come out your weakness. Come out your slipping. Come out your sliding. Come out your vacation. Come out your hibernation. Y'all better hear what I'm saying because I heard the Lord tell me the other day the devil's trying to make people's strength extinct he's trying to take the strength out of out of reality he's trying to kill it he's trying to take it totally away he don't want you to walk in the strength you used to walk in he don't want you to walk in that power you used to walk in he don't want you to walk in that excitement for God that you used to walk in but I come to tell you why you got a little clap left why you still got a little desire a little desire to be at church God says strengthen that y'all come y'all Strengthen why you why you still got a little hello and how you doing, Pastor? Strengthen that because there's still something in there going that's gonna cause you to die if you don't strengthen the little respect that you still have left. Yes, Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost in here now. And so the Lord said to me, There is no love lost for what they used to have in God. 
And now when, now when you see them in church, it looks like they have lost the desire to be there anymore. They don't, they, they don't have the same drive for God like they used to have. And all they have now is a memory of what they used to have. But brothers and sisters, it is time for a personal revival. We have to check our spirits and see if there's any more strength left in us. Because there are multitudes of people that is operating on religious performance and charisma. But they don't have enough power and strength in their spirits to go all the way with God. They got the charisma. They got the, the moves. They got the dance. Y'all come on. They got the religious shouts and the amens. But down in their spirits. They have very little left to even make it to Monday and still be holy. They have, don't have enough strength to make it to Wednesday. And without going back and asking God to forgive them for the same thing that they confessed yesterday. They got religion. They got charisma. They got performance. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. They, they got all these t church acts down. They, praise the Lord. Bless and highly favored. But there's still something. Y'all got quad fish on my left side over here. No, uh -huh. you, 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 don't, you don't have the strength that you used to have, but you still got a little bit left. And God said, while there's a little bit left, you better build on that little bit. You better build on that little bit. Huh? You better build on what's remaining because God said that's all you got left. And you got to build on that huh? to get back to where you were. Huh? My God, because the devil is going to pull you out, said the Lord. Huh? Let me tell you what it don't take to stay in church. I'm going to blow your minds on this one. It don't take faith to stay in church. It don't take faith to cut, clap your hands. I can clap my hands outside the church. It don't take faith to clap my hands. I can do it in church. I can do it out church. It don't take faith to be in church. I can bring faith home. But let me tell you what it takes to be in church, to stay in church. It takes strength. If you don't have no strength, you won't be able to remain. You don't have no strength. You won't be able to oh, y'all got quiet here. We need strength, not faith, not the joy of the Lord. No, you need some strength down in your spirit to remain steadfast in God. My God, yeah, 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 no bullshit. Oh, like they say, there's an oil crisis. Well, in the body of Christ, there is a strength crisis. Oh, God, they're operating off of fumes. Just, just whatever they have left is fumes. Not fullness of strength, fumes. And you better ask yourself today, what happened to my full strength? What happened to the full strength, my God? Oh, what happened when I did do the work of God? I did it with power. I did it with God. He was pleased with me. I didn't replace church work for strength. But when I did do church work, I had strength in it. My God, I had strength in cooking them collard greens for the church. I, I had strength in cooking, my God, have mercy. I had strength when I made the programs for the church. My God, I had strength when I said, up the tables. Huh? Oh, y'all can't get nobody here. I just didn't have a desire. I had shit. Yeah, see, we glory because of what we've done, but God say, uh, I see what you've done, but your works ain't made perfect because your strength is still weak. Uh, Lord, I can't get nobody. I, at least I brought something for the church. I brought paper towels, good. I bought tissue, good. But would you have any strength when you bought it? Did you have any strength when shot to? Oh, did God see you as alive? Uh, my God, why everybody around you see you as living? Uh, they brought this for the church. Wow. They brought that for the church. They bought a new church. They bought new this, they bought new that. But God said, yeah, you're looking at them as living. But I see them as dead because they got no strength. Oh, I know what God said in here. 
Uh -huh. It's not a little strip. God said, listen. He said, when Zion travails, she'll bring forth children. There's no strength enough to bring forth uh, this next anointing. You got no strength to bring forth. Uh, oh, God. Uh, you better be aware of my God. Of that old strength you had. Because you can't make it with that old strength you used to have. In this new season, said the Lord. Uh, and God said, while I'm looking at you, uh, while others look at your church as powerful, others look at your church as on fire, others look at your church as dynamite, others say, man, look at all the men in that church. Uh, look at all them sisters on fire. I'm not worried about what they say. Uh, but God, do you see us as alive? Uh, do you see us as somebody that got strength before your eyes? Uh, because let me tell you something, a weak church cannot lift uh, in a heavy no anointing. Uh, a weak church cannot carry uh, a strong vision. Uh, it takes strong people uh, to carry a strong vision. Yes, Lord, thank you. Get to go, 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 go. Don't let them put that old strength back on you. Come on, don't let them put it back on you because I see it. My cup of my shuttle. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Listen, we got to get some fresh strength. My God, we need a fresh notch. Shuttle. We need a fresh anointing. Shut the Lord. I need some fresh when I get down on my knees to pray. I got to get up with fresh oil. I got to get up with fresh anointing. I got to get up with fresh strength. Strength in what remains. And brothers and sisters, the Holy Ghost said it is a struggle for some people to praise God because they just don't have the strength in God like they used to have. And God is on the watch. I said God is on the watch. And he sees what's coming out of your our spirits. And he is doing a spiritual examination on his people. And the Holy Ghost said he is finding out that some people don't have the same strength and zeal that they once carried. And they look good on the outside. Yeah. They sing good, they preach good, they praise good, they dance well, yeah. they shout good outwardly, yeah. and people see them and think that they are on the mountaintop, yeah. but the people don't see how small yeah. and insufficient the strength is on the inside of them. Yeah. You look at that body work, you're not looking at spirit work. You look at that body work, you're not looking at spirit work. Yeah. If I can't get nobody here now. Oh God, I hear you. God said, I hear you, Lord. I thank you. The Lord said, every time you clap your hands in my service with no strength, He said, I see struggle. Every time you shout and dance with no strength, I see struggle. That's what God is saying. God said, Listen, it's gonna take more than a shout and dance huh, to get this strength back. It's gonna take more than that. It's gonna take more than a praise the Lord and hallelujah to get this strength back. You're gonna have to get on your face again. You have to push that plate back and call on the name of Jesus huh, and to Him restore your back my God I can't get nobody here now Lord and so people looking at you as powerful but God is looking at you as weak folks look at, look at you as a prayer warrior but God look at you as not praying at all I can't get nobody here now folks look at you as a praiser but God is looking at you as drained and God is saying the day you got to strengthen what's left if you had enough mind to get the church and you're weak that I means you still got something left inside you to build on again my God my God I can't get nobody here but God said church was strengthened what you got left said the Lord because if you didn't have no strength you wouldn't be in this church if you didn't have no strength you wouldn't be standing here yeah, and Lord, I thank you, Lord. And He says some people have lost their place in where God had put them on spiritually. On the inside, they are weary with hearing God tell them that they are weak. Let me tell you the reason why folks get mad when you tell them they're weak, because you just agree with what God has already told them. When you tell them you weak, brother, you weak, sister, and you're not what you think you are, it's just a confirmation of what God is 
I already told them. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. I'm making it preach early now, but I feel it. the Holy Ghost up in here now. And I hear God told me last night, tell them they need strength. They need some real strength. You can't lean on your emotions to get you through this. You can't lean on your feelings to get you through it. You gotta fall back on the anointing. When the enemy rushes in like a flood, you gotta fall back on that standard. Which is the Holy Ghost in power. My God, y'all better hear what I'm saying. Too many people falling on weak stuff. They falling on the past. They falling on past anointing. They falling on past experience. But God said you need some fresh anointing. You need some fresh strength. And God said to tell you, why you still got some left? I need you to build on that. Uh huh. I need you to build on it. My God, thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. You need to build on it, Lord. I thank you. My God, and so on the inside, people is getting weary with hearing God tell them that they are weak and that they need to revive and rebuild themselves with the little strength that they have remaining. And people is not sure what to do in these weakened in this weakened state that they're in spiritually. They don't have the inward conviction that they are what they appear to be in the eyesight of people that is impressed by their outward piety. Uh, oh, y'all God help me out. Uh, y'all just miss what I said. Uh, they don't have the inward conviction uh, 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 that those on the outside have of them. Because uh, the outside you look good. Uh, outside folks is convicted. It convicted. That you're powerful, but inside, you know you're just weary, you're worn, and you're out of strength, and you're about to be out of time, said the Lord. You're out of strength, and you're about to be out of time to get this thing together. Let me tell you something. I thank you for this. God said, listen, I'm not fit to uh -huh, take in consideration how long you've been in the church. I'm not fit to take in consideration how long you've been knowing the pastor. I'm not fit to take in consideration how much you testify and say, this is my church. God said, you don't hurt them against them strength, you're going to be one of the victims that's going to leave uh, and never come back again. Uh, it don't matter how close you got to the preacher. Uh, it don't matter how many years you've been here serving under the ministry. Uh, God said you better hurry up and strengthen yourself because uh, you're going to be just like those uh, that you watched and leave uh, and never came back to God. Uh, what, what, God what makes you think uh, you're going to be the first one to escape? Uh, the same thing that broke other people down. Uh, it's folks left because they had no strength. Uh, Folks backslid them because they had no strength. And what makes you think you can get away with it too? I come to tell somebody you better find some strength. Better find some strength. And hell the Lord, I gotta build on this. Cause I know I ain't where I used to be. I don't care if people giving me hand claps. People is telling me this and telling me that, but I know inside of me. I, I'm not where I used to be at. And I told them, oh, thank you, Lord. And God said, don't get the big headed because they're giving you likes on your comments. Giving you thumbs up. Y'all come on somebody. God said, listen, it don't matter what kind of thumbs they give you. If I didn't give you a thumb up, you're wretched, you're poor, you're blind, you're mute, and you're lame. And you need to find some strength again. Sister Lynn, I'm trying to find some help around the building. I'm trying to see who really got it on. You got to be real about this thing. Listen, I'm not strong like I used to be. I'm weak. I Listen, but I come to warn you now. I'm warning you now. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. I, listen, I was the best super late last night because I... I have to hear what God was saying to me. I couldn't rest till I heard what God was saying. And God said, don't pay no attention to how they shout. Don't pay no attention to how they dance. Don't pay no attention to how they come to you humbly. God said, tell them to get this trip before they die out. God said, it's a principle. It's not a feeling. It's a principle. It's not a respect of a person. It's a principle. Ah, you need your fire. And your shred. It's not all right. It's not all right. Not having the strength you used to have. It's not all right. But not being where you used to be. It's not all right. And you should see that as a problem. 
You should see, man, this is a serious problem. You shouldn't just be coping with not having strength. You should be, listen, there's something wrong with this. And it's not that you don't know what to do. You better do what you got to do. My God, I can't get nobody here. Folks just losing strength and don't seem like they really care about it. Let me tell you how you know you don't care. It's because you're not fasting. You're not pushing that plate back. While you're getting weaker, your appetite is growing. Your physical appetite is growing. You want food more than you want strength. Y'all can't get nobody. You want comfort more than you want strength. You ain't ready for no strength. Because I'm the draw of the Lord is my strength. Watch this. He said the draw of the Lord is my strength. I got a word for you. When you find joy in fasting, then you'll get some strength. When you find joy in praying, then you'll get smart. When you find joy in consecrating yourself before the throne of God, then you'll get strength. Ah, you got a little love, said the Lord. I know what God told me. I got to stand on it today. He said, you got to cut that on now. You can cut that on now. You got a little strength left, but God said, listen, that little strength about to die on you. You got enough strength to put your clothes on for church. You got enough strength to put your makeup on, don't you? Got enough strength to put them shoes on and drive to church. But God said, that's good. You got enough strength for that. But you need more strength than that. You need strength to live holy through the week. You need strength to pray me. But at all times, you need strength to my God have mercy. To live right in my eyes. Said the Lord, you need some strength. My God, to carry that same testimony that you had on Sunday. All the way to Tuesday, said the Lord. You need more strength to get in your car. It's more than getting in your car and starting up and driving the trash. You need some strength. After you pray, demons are bound. After you pray, Satan is cast out. After you pray, my God, things get in order. Ah, that's how you know. You got some strength. Strength. And I heard the Lord tell me, I'm talking with the preachers and the prayer warriors. God said, what's the use of us preaching if there's no change being produced? What's the use of us praying and no strongholds are being broken down? What's the use of us coming to church? There's no change in your life. My God have mercy. When you pray, you got to make sure I got enough strength to pour down the heavens. God have mercy. When I preach, I got to make sure I'm not a showstopper and a big caller. I got to be somebody that's going to bring down the power of God. To somebody get delivered. You all better hit it. He says a strength crisis. That's a strength crisis. They got faith, but they ain't got strength. My God, I can't get nobody. They got humility, but they ain't got no strength. Oh, you got to have it all, Brother Robert, don't we? We got to have more than just faith. You got to have some strength, baby. I, I, I can't listen. I really can't have no faith if I don't got no strength. I, I can't have no peace without no strength. Because sometimes it takes everything inside of me to keep it together. Come on. It takes everything inside of me to say no when I want to say yes. But see, you don't have no strength. You can't help but say no when you want to say yes. Yes. You ain't got no strength. You can't help but say yes when you want to say no. I got set today to tell you. Shut up. What the matter? Shut What? I need more than a handshake with my pastor. I need more than a praise the Lord, man of God, how you doing? You need some strength. You need strength in the inner man. You need strength in your innermost being. You need strength. 
Because when you don't got no strength, you too emotional. When you don't got strength, you lean to your feelings. Because you got no strength. And we feel like, listen, I cannot pray but out of my feelings. I cannot bind demons because I got mad at you. That's out your flesh. Y'all better hear me as a pastor. I can't open this church up and pray because you rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm going to show you. Now listen, that's not strength. That's emotion. You hope of us. And when you open up in prayer, you got to start with power. You got to start letting the Lord build you up in that prayer. You can't just take off full flare. You got to build that thing up. Let that strength God arise. And let his enemy be scattered. How God going to arise. And I went before him. I got to wait on him. Y'all better have Strength. Instead of heart failure, somebody about to have strength failure. Strength is fading out. God said whatever's left over, strengthen it. How are we going around like it ain't nothing? We care more about our physical strength than we do our spiritual. I'm tired, I'm gonna go get some rest. I'm weak, I gotta take some vitamins. But what about your spirit? Bodily exercise profit a little. But godly exercise, it profit much gain. God said, tell the church, and those that's listening to me out there and you too. God said, God, while you got little left, he says, strengthen that because that little left is about to die. It's on the verge of dying. Y'all better hear me, church. Y'all better hear me. You've been in an apostolic church too long to be that dry. You've been here too long to be that weak. Why sit here and fester and die before our eyes? God said, before I let you die in front of the saints' eyes, I'll move you. I'll let you leave and let you die to yourself. But I can't afford to let nobody see you sit there and die like that. I can't get nobody here. How we sit here dying like this? How we sit there eroding in the spirit? How we sit there drying ourselves to death? And you sit with so much power here. And God said, before I let you insult the power in the house, I'll make you leave before I let you die in it. In the spirit. Y'all better shut Make a plan. I refuse to let you die in a place where power is. I, he said, before I let you insult, I hear this in the spirit. Before I let you insult me, I'll make you move. For you to have a testimony, I dried up in a powerful church. I was in a Holy Ghost filled church. And I just wrote in spirit. God ain't gonna give you that testimony. That's why I'm telling you, I'm warning you. It's more than disagreeing. Because knowing is half the battle. Doing something about it, it's the rest of it. Yes, Lord. Hey, I refuse to die out like that. I refuse to die out spiritually because I won't reveal, I won't build up what's remaining left inside me. Y'all you know, can't get nobody here, Lord. Yes, Lord, you can't do the same thing every day and expect to get different results in the spirit. You can't keep doing the same thing and not doing the same thing every day and expect to get strength. To get strength, you got to go to the well and drink. To get strength, you got to get up and do something about it. You got to get back on your face again and cry out to God. And don't get up off your knees until you felt he poured his spirit back in you again. You can't get up. I'm not going to quit. I'm not leaving this prayer closet until I know. God, you have it in me again. The Lord said to me, now I hear you, Lord, I thank you. The Lord said in this hour is going to take some new strength. Because the devil have figured out our old strength. Like Delilah figured out Samson's strength. Y'all, so you got to come another way now. That old strength you had, it's been studied. 
It's been revealed. It don't work no more. Come on, somebody here. The devil know your secret now. And here you are still trying to fight a new demon. With that old strength, you wonder why it's wearing you out. Because you ain't got nothing fresh, said the Lord. And God said, I just told you you ain't got no fresh strength. When I brought that thing back up on you again, I told you they have no fresh strength. You was operating off of that still strength. My God, I can't get nobody. It's time for some new hair to grow back now. It's time for some fresh and to the grow back. Huh? It's time to cut shut time. Huh? It's time that it ain't grow back. I wouldn't sit there if I was you. I'd give God the praise. Huh? I wouldn't let the devil sit on me like this. Huh? You need some fresh strength. Huh? Okay, if I gotta sit down and clap huh? and throw my head back huh? and say, Lord, give me the strength huh? to make it through the service. Huh? Give me the strength. Huh? God, I need while he's preaching. Strength will remain. Because that witch is coming for it. Strength will remain. Because witches is coming for it. They want what's left. They want what's left. They know if I can take what's left. They can't build no more. They coming for it, said the Lord. And y'all better wake up and realize we're in a spiritual battle in this hour. And the devil trying to dry you out. He's trying to kill your spontaneity in God. He's trying to kill your praise in God. He's trying to kill your dedication. He's trying to control your will. My God, with manipulation. But I need somebody to wake up today and realize I can't stay. I got to get my strength. I got to get it right now. I can't wait till the prayer line. I got to get it now. I can't wait till tomorrow. I got to get it now. It's time for some fresh strength, said the Lord. You build on that old one. You build new from that old one. My God, because a little left. It's the folks got a little left, sister. First, that is just a little left. And some folks ain't using the little they got. Every day, the little they got is being taken. Every day, little bit by little bit is being taken. My God, but let me tell you, as a child of God, you got to get back in God's will. When he says, I can, I can do all things. At Christ, that's through Christ, that's strengthened me. I taught my strength. God, Jesus died to give you strength. He died to revive your soul. He died, hallelujah, to give you fresh power. He died. To renew your kid. Somebody got to take a hold of what was given to you from the cross. Because I hear this in my spirit. The Lord say, if you really getting this now, you ain't going to have no need on no prayer line. You ain't going to have no need on no prayer line. Because you're getting it right there where you are. You're not waiting for nobody to lay no hands on you. God, you lay your hands on me. God, if you lay your hands on me, I know I'll be all right. You got to build on what you already have. I got to build on what I already have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got to go, ba, 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 ba. I gotta build on this because I know there's a new assignment I'm in. I'm in a new I'm in a new season. I'm a new demonic assignment. And I gotta have some fresh strength. Cause some of y'all revealed your secrets to your enemies. So God said I'm done with that strength. Cause you revealed too much to your enemy. I gotta give you a new secret of strength that the devil can't discern. Y'all better hear me now. I'm going to finish telling you what he told me. Let me finish telling you what he told me. Uh, God said this time, I want you to tell him. I want you to write down everything I tell you. He said, write down everything I tell you. Uh, 
And I need you to tell them what I told you to tell them. Because they're leaning on old strength. They're leaning on diminished strength. They're leaning on fractions of strength. But I want to give them whole strength. My God of mercy. Oh, Lord, thank you. And I heard God saying this in this hour. You can pity and you can be depressed about where you are. That's not going to get you out of this, baby. It's going to take some strength. You can quit. You can boo who You can cry. You can complain all day. But until you find that strength, Satan going to keep his foot on your neck. But the Bible said the anointing, the anointing destroys the yoke. My God, his foot is taken off my neck because of the anointing. You don't need emotion. You need an anointing. You don't need self-pity. You need an anointing. You don't need depression. You need an anointing. But that's the only thing that should have recognized it with his foot. It's on your neck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody better have it. I don't, want to, I don't want to appear to be powerful, but yet I'm weak inside. I don't want a roar to come out my belly like a sound of a lion, but I'm weak like a mouse. Ah, I need some real strength. We need real strength in this hour. This hour right here, we in right this 12 o'clock hour. You need some real strength. And I told you before, I'm going to tell you again. Satan has figured out your secret. He has studied y'all so much until you, you feel like when I go right, he's standing there. When I go left, he's standing there. If I go backwards, he's standing there. If I go forward, he's standing Because he studied your strength. He studied how much you can lift. He studied how much you can lift. He studied the real weight capacity. I can't hear nobody. So he said, yeah, they can lift 256. I'm going to go ahead and put 157. On the weights of their lives, huh? said the Lord. Huh? They can only live 260. I'm gonna put two, uh, 280 on it. Huh? Then I studied their strength. Huh? They don't got no strength to lift me off them. Huh? They ain't got no strength to rebuke them. Huh? They ain't got no strength huh? to make me flee huh? seven different ways. Huh? Don't let me lay on them. Huh? But I caught the tail. Huh? You got a strength. Huh? What are they? I heard him. Lord said, there are some people on the verge of losing what they have if they don't strengthen what remains. They are in the danger of missing out on the deliverance and blessings of God if they don't hurry up and find some strength in God. Time is of the essence. I said time is of the essence. And I, Lord, I heard something so profound, profound in my spirit last night. I heard God said, he said time is not waiting on you, but time is given to you to make you strong. Time is not waiting, ha, but time is giving ha, for you to find the strength ha, that you need in God. Y'all better hear what I'm saying, because heaven is time. Ha, his time clock ain't waiting, ha, but God said, I'll give you time ha, to take a hold of it. Ha. Come on, somebody here. Ha. Well, Lord, I thank you. Ha. Well, Lord, thank you, Lord. Ha. I can't seem to find it. Ha. I don't really have strength, ha. but God said you were lying. Ha. I remember the time you said shout ha, and tear up a church. Ha. I remember the times ha, you spoke in tongues ha, as the spirit ha, gave you utterance. Ha. I remember the time ha, when you prayed ha, and you moved my spirit because you had strength. Ha. You can't tell me ha, that you can't get it ha, and I gave it to you before. Ha. You can't tell me ha, my God I, say, ha, I already gave it to you. Ha. You can't let the devil ha, lie to you I tell you, I don't have that. Time is running out. Time is running out. Make sure the devil don't put you back on that island again. Well, you seem like I got no help, I'm being stranded. You better find some strength. Because it's not okay. It's not okay being weak. 
It's not okay tolerating weakness. It's not okay being used to being weak. It's all wrong and God ain't pleased with it. And God said, why folks see you as alive, I see you as dead. You better make sure that God give you the same applause that people is giving you. Make sure that God is giving you the same compliment that people is giving you. My God, I'm oh, so to, I, I was praying this uh, last night. I'm like, God, wait a minute. Uh, why is it that it seems like family won't accept your ministry? Why it seems like family, amen, won't uh, my God see what's in you like others on the outside see? Uh, and God said, listen, if they saw you like that, then you won't be about nothing. Is uh, because you got something on your life uh, that they threatened by. Uh, you know what that is? Strength. Uh, my God, you got some strength uh, that they don't have. Uh, you got some power. And God said they accept you in uh, and they speak well of you. Uh, you in danger, baby, uh, of still rolling, of corroding. Uh, you in danger uh, of dying out spiritually. Uh, well, I need somebody here uh, that's concerned uh, about their spiritual condition. Uh, I will not be weak. I will not be worn. I will not be torn. I will not die with the Philistine. I'm not going to die. I shall lie. I declare the works of the Lord. Time is running out. I said time is running out. Jesus is soon to come. Time is running out. And God is giving people ample opportunity to hurry and rebound back to the strength that they previously had. There is something that God has given to you that is on the brink of death. Oh, y'all better hear y'all quiet. I said there's something that God has given some of y'all that is on the brink of death. The zeal that God has given some to some people is on the brink of death. The reputation that God has given to some people is on the brink of dying in the minds of the people that thought you was on fire in a lively stone for God. The hope of what is to come on the other side in heaven is on the brink of dying. And all that you fought against and gave up for the anointing is going to be a waste of precious years if you don't strengthen what remains. Did y'all just hear what I said? All that you suffered for all uh, that you fought against uh, to get to where you are. Uh, God says it's going to be a waste uh, of years uh, and deliverance uh, if you don't strengthen uh, what you have remaining. Uh, you know too much, said the Lord. Uh, you have heard too much. Uh, and you have received too much of the gospel uh, for God to allow you to get away uh, with not strengthening uh, what remains. Don't just think you're going to get by. Uh, God said, I got to tell you, uh, listen, I'm going to have to deal with you. If you remain like that, I gave you too much power. On the day I saved you, I gave you too much power. On the day I anointed you, I gave you too much power over the devil to let you get away with not having strength. I need somebody here that don't mind giving God the glory. Yes, Lord, thank you. I really feel like preaching, brother. I feel like preaching, brother. By God, I shot to uh, yes Lord uh, we've been delivered too long sister Linda uh, we heard too much word uh, to sit down here uh, and just dry up in the church uh, dry up in your seat uh, dry up in your faith uh, you heard too much uh, and God said while you're clapping uh, that's a sign you got some strength uh, while you're saying yes uh, to the word of God uh, it's a sign uh, you got some strength uh, and God I said, start right there. I got to start right there. I got to start with my praise. I got to start with my hands. Going up in the air. 
I I gotta start with my praise dance. I gotta start with what used to work. Let me tell you what used to work. It's the thing that still works. But God said, listen here. I'm gonna start it back up again. I'm gonna start back up. Ha, your weaponry, ha, your machine of praise, ha, with some strength. Ha, if you start right there, y'all better hear me. Somebody gotta ask the Lord, help me, Jesus, ha, to restrict myself. Help me, Jesus, to get charged again. Help me, Jesus, to put running back in my feet. You've been offended too long. You've been angry too long. You've been messed up too long. You've been picky too long. You've been touchy too long. That's not a sign of strength. That's a sign of weakness. All you do is complain. It's a sign of weakness. All you do is grumble. It's a sign of weakness. You don't pray. It's a sign of weakness. When you don't fast. It's a sign of weakness. When you stop. Rebuking devils. It's a sign of weakness. I can't hear nobody. For the weapons of our warfare are not quarter, but the mighty through God to the pulling down a stronghold. I, I need strength to pull it down. Fresh strength to pull it down. Fresh strength to break the bands. The bands of wickedness. Fresh strength to undo the bands of depression. I, I, I gotta strengthen what remains. I, 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 I can't go out like this. Can't come to church like this. Go home like this. I need the Lord to breathe on me one more time. Breathe on my soul. One more time. What my praise is that? What my praise is that? What my praise is that? Somebody, Sister Linda, don't have the strength to praise them like they used to. But I give you permission. Call for somebody else. Ask your neighbor. Neighbor, do you mind? If I can pull just a little bit. If I can a little bit. I need a little fire to cause a forest fire, a small fire to burn the house down. Give me something small, and I promise you, Lord, I will make it work. I will let it burn. I will let my light shine. Yes, Lord. Shit. It's being poured out. Strength. Strength, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So God, Jesus told the church of Sardis, he said, watch and strengthen the things which remain. Strengthen the things which remain. They don't ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. He said, remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. I therefore, if you don't repent, if you don't watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what I will, I will come. Y'all better hear me. This is a serious, a serious problem in the body of Christ. And if we don't fix this problem, then God is going to lay it to our charge on the day of judgment. You got to answer under God. Why? You let Delilah bring your strength. You got to answer 
child of God. Wow. You let Jezebel put you on the run. You got an answer under God. Oh, wow. You don't have the strength to bring forth my vision on the earth. I hear God saying, wow, I got your lifeline. Wow, I'm keeping you living. Make up your mind. Today, I'm getting my strength. Today, yes, Lord. Brothers and sisters, there's three things you have to do to strengthen the things that remain. The first thing he said, remember what you heard and what you received. Remember the gospel you heard and received. When the devil is trying to weaken you, go back to the word that you heard. When the devil is trying to take your peace, go back to the word that you receive. Go back to the word you sign it over. Go back to the word you dance over. He said, go back and remember the word that was preached that destroyed the yoke. Go back to the word that brought your joy. Remember the word that brought your peace back. You gotta go back and remember. You can't sit there every day expecting for strength to fall on you. You gotta get back. Take out the notes. Take out your notes. Go on the YouTube. Ask God to bring it back to my memory. What's being preached? But I gotta strengthen what remains. I gotta go back to the word that preached me out of my sin. I gotta go back to the word that gave me power. I gotta go back to the word that made me ask, what shall I do to be saved? I gotta go back to the word of hellfire and brimstone. I gotta go back, don't lose your anointing. I gotta go back to what is your current position. I gotta go back, now you need something more than money. I gotta go back, and I remember what I've been preaching. I gotta go back, and say, Lord, this is me. The second thing that you need to do is hold on to what you've been taught. Hold on to the word that you heard. Hold on to what you heard. Hold on to what you've been taught. Don't let it go. If I die, I'm gonna die with my hand gripped on eternal life. You can't tie my hand. I got a grip. Slay me. I got a grip. Stole me. I got a grip. Oh me. I got a grip. The third thing you gotta do to get your strength back to where it used to be. Repent. Repent. Come out. And repent. Stop lying. And repent. Stop cheating. And repent. Stop lying. Oh God. And repent. Come out. Remember, hold on and repent. What you gonna do about it? So sit here and die out. And he told them three things. Remember what you heard and received. Hold fast and repent. 
That's how you strengthen what's remaining. There's no other way. You can't just sit there and expect hands to be laid on you. You got to go back to what you've been taught. Go back to them fasting CDs and, and understand what the benefit of your fasting does. Go back to the CDs of prayer. My God. Go back to the CDs of how to tread on serpents and scorpions. Because if you heard it, you have received it. And God said, if you really receive it, you'll get some strength. God said, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up and remember. Hurry up and hold on to what you learned. Hurry up and repent. Because time is running out on some of y'all. Your strength is decaying to the point you're about to die out spiritually. Coping with it ain't going to help it. Coping with it is making it worse. You got to take the initiative and do these three things. He said, because I'm coming. He said it in his words, in the Bible. He said, I'm coming. I'm coming back. He said, if I come back and I catch it like this, I'm sorry. You didn't have enough strength to be caught up. You was too weak to get caught up. He said, look up. You had no strength to look up for your redemption drawn. You had no strength to look up. Holy Ghost said, you need fresh strength in this hour. Because the enemy, he caught on to that normal strength. He's used to that old stuff you got. So you got to dig way down and pull up some fresh strength. Give him something he never seen before. Make him feel something Brother Shunny never felt before. Make him feel some burning fire he never sensed before. Fresh strength. This strength he can't, he can't take as soon as you get it. Because he ain't familiar with it. The enemy have gotten too familiar with your prayer life. And with your study habits. Too familiar with how you fast. Throw, throw, throw something he never seen. Before. Pull up something you never had before. Make him recognize I can't touch him like I used to. Make the devil have a testimony. Make the devil have a testimony that he'll say, I sense fresh strength. If, the de if you can make the devil tell the truth, you own something. If Satan can say, I sense fresh spirit, fresh strength, you make him tell the truth, you got something. You got something. You got something. You got, when Satan can tell you, yes, I sense something. When the last time your strength made the devil tell the truth? When the last time God put it on record? A conversation you couldn't hear in the spirit. Well, Satan told God, Lord, they got something I don't, I don't recognize. What you what did you do? What is this that's on them? Lord, I can't. Huh? Huh? See, you gotta be able to make the conversation in the spirit realm change. Yeah. Because see, the same conversation now, Lord, I told you. And I put this back on them again. They wouldn't have no strength to come out of them. I told you. The accuser of the brother, ain't it? I told you. I told you this will make them weak. This will make them weak. I told you, didn't I? That's what he does. Until he lose access, he going to keep doing it. Oh, y'all quiet on me. I told you, God, it's going to break them down.
Because there's conversations in the spirit realm concerning your strength. And to make him out of a liar is your decision. It's got to be more than talk. It's got to be a walk. You got to get back to old fashioned fasting again. Old fashioned passion prayer. Old fashioned seeking God. Until your flesh is giving you fits. But you find joy in it at the same time. I told you the joy of the Lord is my strength. You won't get no joy. You don't get no strength. You don't find no joy in prayer. You don't find no joy in talking to God. No joy in fasting. No joy in seeking him. Strength got to come again. I say you borderline diabetic, as they say. Some folks borderline dying spiritually. And God said you take that little spark you got. See, it, it don't take dynamite to, cre to create a forest fire. Take one little match. One little match. Create a big fire. I say, I'll take that little bit left in you. To spark it. I'll do some damage in your life. If you spark that strength. It's a season of new strength. A season of new strength. A season of new strength. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? A season of new strength. You got to be able to lift what you never lift before. So you got to be able to lift what broke you down the last time. You got to be able to lift what caused your nerves to break down the last time. You got to lift that thing that almost caused you to lose your mind. Now, it gotta be, now you got to lift it so high till it can't touch you. New strength. And I'm going to create new strength out of what?